Good day, good day. God bless the USA. Today is January 6, 2021. Welcome to my channel. Of you that, for you that are new, and for you that are not new, thanks for coming back. Give me a like if you like this video, and um, tell me what you think, one way or the other. It's good. Um, I wanted to talk to you about the new DA that was elected in New York County, a.k.a. Manhattan. His name is Alvin Bragg. There are 8 million people in that area. Or maybe 2 million. Or, I don't know. Either way, it's a lot. I think it's 8 million. And you know how many people voted for him? 86,000 people. It's 1.07%. Percent is all that voted for him. And he's changing things quite a bit because he says we need to get serious with crime. So this is what he's doing. I'm going to refer to my notes so I don't misspeak, okay? Ah, let me see. Oh, there will no longer be any arrest for resisting the police. Resisting arrest. That's that's okay now. Um, prostitution, that's okay. And, um, what else? Where is it? Oh, not paying for subways or bus fares. That's okay, too, that they're not going to do anything about that. And, um, he said he is going to go full bore, though, on public corruption. That makes headlines, I guess. Um... I don't know, AOC thinks this guy is, you know, the real deal. I guess she does. Maybe he came from the same cloth she came from. I, I don't know a lot about this man. I guess a lot of other people didn't either, but they do now. Um, also, if there's a crime committed, a robbery with a, with a gun, and you show the gun, it's okay. Because nobody was hurt. So it doesn't matter. And it will not be grand larceny. There will be no armed robbery with a felony to commit whatever the legal jargon is. Um, instead, it's going to be released, going to be brought down to petty larceny with no recommendation for jail. Yes, I said that. Armed robbery, you don't have to shoot the person, just show it to them, show them the gun, is now petty larceny with no recommendation for jail. Mm. Yet, one more reason to leave. Screaming, screaming, and leave New York. So, that's what's going on with this guy. Let me see if there's anything else. I think that's all. Um, this is how the crime's going in New York. Um, sometime the last couple of days, I'm not sure exactly when, I apologize for that. A 49-year-old police officer and her 27-year-old partner were dispatched for a noise complaint, something to do with dogs. Um, excuse me. She was shot, and while she lay there, begging for her life, saying this isn't worth it, don't do this, the person, whose name is Darius Sullivan, he's been arrested uh, 43 for 43 crimes, he, um, make sure I get this right here, 21 times since 2014, multiple times without bail. You have that you know, no bail, just, you know, get out of jail free card. And they shot her with her own gun, twice in the throat. It's very upsetting to me, and her partner was injured. He was in surgery for a while, but he's okay. Well, I don't know if he's okay, but he's alive now. I don't know the details on him. They didn't really say. Um, I don't I don't even know what to say about that. I mean, isn't that like the DUI? The guy has a DUI like 16 times, and he finally kills somebody, and everybody goes, oh, but how horrible that is. That's just so terrible. Well, why didn't they say it on number 10 or 12 or 4 or whatever? And... Um, I, I don't know. That that was in um, New York. That was in New York. Um, okay. Today is the 6th of the first month. One year from last year, the 6th of the first month. So I did want to mention a little bit about it. Um, 
give some respect for the people that have been hurting because of that. Uh, people that were maimed, killed, hurt, um, still there, um, not being charged. There is no one has been charged for insurrection. Insurrection is a crime. No one has been charged for insurrection. That's on the books anywhere. Um, I understand those people are still there. They're being held without being charged. Uh, no trial. They've been supposedly beaten, starved, and in solitary. Um, who's it? Uh, Mark Getz and a couple of other people. I don't remember her name. The Georgia, South Carolina lady that makes all the headlines now. Oh, Marjorie Green, Marjorie Taylor Green. They had this press conference, I don't know, six months ago, saying how terrible it was and someone should do something about that. Yeah, they should. They should do something about it. Every single one of those elected officials in Congress and the Senate, what is that, 270 and then 100 and some odd, all of those people have been elected. All of them. They all have the pull to go down there and go in there and see what's going on. But none of them do. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Um, I just think that's terrible. I mean, all those people are there and they go to make a public statement or, you know, whatever it is they need to do to, I guess, I don't know what they're doing. I, I, I don't know. It, it's a terrible thing. I just don't understand it. I just don't. Um, so the media first, they hate the police. Remember, defund the police. The police are evil. The police deserve everything they get. String the people up that shoot anybody in the commission of a crime. Get rid of them, right? They're terrible. Now, except for the Capitol Police, they're not evil. They're just trying to do their job the best they can. Now they're martyrs who just so happened to let people in. There's, there's film of that. I'm just letting, putting the fences down, moving them out of the way, saying, come on, come on, come on. The doors of the Capitol, come on, come on. Well, where was the Secret Service? Aren't they assigned to protect these people? Where were they? I don't know. I didn't see them in any of those videos. I did see the guy with the big horns, though. I did see that. Um, I didn't see anything else as far as Secret Service. Um... And the media says, I think, five are saying six people have died. Some of those people were from suicide. Arkansas, I don't know. They're somehow, they're counting those deaths as deaths from January 6th. To my knowledge, there's been one, Ashley Babbitt, and it's rumored that she was paid off to disappear for a while. Evidently, her family was in dire straits. I don't know if it's true. I have no idea. Don't hold me to it. It's just some things that I've heard about. So I wanted you to know that. Um, what do you think about any of that? Um, it's like I thought the police were evil, and now all of a sudden they're not. If they're the Capitol Police, um, those people all answer to the lawmakers of the House. It's Congress. They answered to Congress. They asked for backup. They did not get it. They asked for the National Guard. They did not get it. Their requests were refused for the National Guard. They refused the request for the National Guard before it even happened. There was intel this was going to happen, and they said no. They, meaning she, Nancy, $15,000 refrigerator in um, San Francisco, the aunt of um, Gruesome, Governor Gruesome, him, yeah, they're related. Um, I, I, I don't, but, but somehow, you know, that just slides right under the rug. Uh, there's a headline today from MSNBC. Harris, camel toe, says, and I quote, January 6th showed the fragility and strength of our democracy. No, it didn't. It showed the deep state. It showed liars, 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 pants on fire. That's what it showed. They're just, they're just evil. They're evil, these people. I don't know what's wrong with them. I don't. I don't know what's wrong with them. Um, all the Congress and the Senate, like I said, all of them know about it. And as far as I'm concerned, they're all accessories to the fact. After the fact, they're all guilty. 
of the same thing, whatever it is that happened, they're all guilty as well, probably even more so. So this is a new thing you can do Friday night in New York City. Instead of hanging out, playing video games, getting a pizza or whatever. Now you can do, for an adrenaline rush, you can do Friday night. Get high as you can, because there's no more laws on marijuana from what I've read. No more arrests anyway. Um, rob a store, with or without a gun. As long as it's under $900, you can get away with it. And um, hop on the subway. Just hop the, hop the fence, the gate, whatever they call it. Rob all the passengers. And go home, pick up a prostitute, and then go walk the streets. And worst comes to worst, if a policeman comes up to you, you can smack him or tackle him and knock him on the ground. Yeah, that's what I said. What is this teaching people? You know, the rest of the world, you know, they're supposed to be like the shining light, the beacon, whatever, you know, when people look up to, everyone wants to come here. This does not match. This does not match. I know the Lord has this. I have my faith in him. I don't go by what I understand because I, I can't. I, I don't know but a small percent of what happened. Um, people up there don't even know. I was going to go. I'm in Virginia. I'm very close. I was going to go. Just for one last hurrah for my stepdaddy. I was going to go. But something came up with my aunt and she needed my car, so I didn't go. Even though I wouldn't have done anything, if I had used my ATM card within a five or 10 mile radius, they would have come knocking on my door. Because they, they, that's what they did. Everybody that used um, some type of digital signature, they came knocking on your door and they questioned you. I didn't think you could do that, pull phone records and, you know. I don't know, I guess it depends on where you live, depends on who you are. Um, see if there's anything else. No, that's all I have for today. Um, I want you to know that I do love this country and I love this beautiful area. Right? Isn't that nice? The sun's getting ready to set. I'll turn around, turn it around in a minute so you can see. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I really do love this country. I love God first, and I love my family, and my country, and I love our freedom. Um, this sickness is just, um, putting up walls with my family, not intentionally, there's no hard word, that's just kind of, nope, I'm turning away, I want to hear it, turn away, just, um, my daughter's not like that, she's with me, so that's good, um, she hasn't been swayed, persuaded, dissuaded, whatever, <laughs> she hasn't been swayed of some sort, um, so I'm glad about that. Tonight, you'll see me on Ladies of Liberty, Tammy's show, the little show, Mike calls it. <laughs> no, just messing with you, Mike. Just messing with you. Um, so come see us. And we're going to talk about, uh, I think it's Tex-Mex tonight, which I have some things to say about that. Like, I'm sure you guys do too. So um, see us there. Give me a like if you like it. If you like me, if you like my shirt my jacket if you like the view if you like any part that I've had to say and if you don't you don't have to give me a like just tell me that you don't and you know I could be wrong wouldn't be the thousandth time I've been wrong so um, always open for discussion I love you guys very much and um, one day maybe we'll get to see each other for real like we did on the camp out July 4th with Mike Mount Rushmore that was a lot of fun and uh, until then, let me know what you think. I love you, and here's a view of what I'm seeing right now. Yep, it's walking down the beach. It's beautiful. Some ducks. I'm gonna go quickly past the sun. Here. That way you're not blinded. <laughs> and uh, whoop, there we go. There's some piers. There's a rich folks live over here. There's a boat and dry dock you can see. Um, just a really beautiful day. 
few waves, if you want to call them that, lapping up at the shore. I love you guys. Let me know what you think about today. If you're passionate or you've had enough of it. I've had enough of it, but at the same time, it just kind of hit me wrong when I heard certain things today. You know, they're all guilty. They're all guilty of sin. So um, maybe I'll see you guys tonight. If not, I'll see you on Liberty Warrior Nation. And have a great day. Bye.